Republican candidates in Southeast Iowa pushing to energize their base in the final moments leading up to the November election. KTBO's Maddie Lee explains. So guys, in our last final weeks, here's our push. We have a clear decision to make. Do you want a country that's going to stand up for ourselves, our security, and shut down the border? Or do you want a government that has turned its back on the American people for the last three years? Speaking to voters in Ottumwa, incumbent Representative Zach Nunn listed border security, budget balancing, and national security as his top priorities if re-elected. Nunn plans to advocate for the reinstatement of Trump-era border policies, including the Remain in Mexico policy that requires some asylum seekers to be sent back to Mexico during immigration proceedings and the end of catch and release. We need it not only for Americans who live here, but also for legal immigrants to be able to have a pathway to be successful. On budget balancing, Nunn points to his proposed balanced budget amendment, which last legislative session was only reviewed in the House committee. That's the best way to drive down our deficit spending so it's not passed on to our young folks, as well as making sure that Social Security and Medicare are fully funded. On national security, Nunn highlights the House's passage of the Defense Appropriations Act for 2025 meant to bolster military capabilities and provide a pay raise for troops. He adds the U.S. should continue its support for Israel in Middle Eastern conflicts. So the best way to make sure that the threat in the Middle East doesn't show up as a threat in the Midwest is to be able to ensure that Israel is able to fight to defend itself and help actually protect our country. With tight races and election day approaching, candidates are urging their base to rally for last minute votes. If you've already voted or if you've found a way to vote, you need to still be active and bring other people to the table. You have to make sure that people that maybe are sitting on the fence, maybe won't even get out to vote. You need to go talk to them, talk to them at coffee, talk to them at dinner, approach people. That's what we need. In Atumwa, Maddie Lee, KTVO News.